<laughs> this is Great Bridge Yarnies, um, one of two clubs that I participate in. Personally, it's my favorite. It's the most uh, stress relieving. I actually did crocheting a couple years back during COVID, but I never really knew how to do it. So I came here and I knew a couple friends in the Yarnies and I thought it would be really cool to like get into it and have friends do it with me and just like have a community of people with the same interests. Uh, the kids are really interested in learning how to continue either this tradition from the, what they've seen their grandma do or just be able to make their own clothes, purses, bags. We do a lot of our own projects but we are currently partnered with Newborns in Need to make uh, like garments like baby hats and little like baby socks and a lot of people I think are working on blankets right now. I came to a craft fair in uh, the fall and happened to see that there was a Wildcat Yarnies table set up. Uh, she saw us and couldn't get to us because the table was so full with other people. So she called the school and said, hey, do you guys want yarn? I'm like, oh, we always love yarn. But then I said, what do you do? We basically make a lot of different things um, for local newborn babies that are born into challenging situations and don't have the supplies that they need. Our, our whole thought process here is help the community that we live in. It has a purpose now for the students and for the baby babies.